My name is Baljeet, welcome to my channel where you do as I say and not as I do. Behind me is, if you don't know already, my 1999 Mitsubishi Eclipse that I'm turning into a Fast and the Furious Eclipse, my version of that. Um, so what I'm going to be doing today in this video, uh, or in this video, what I'm going to be doing today is I'm going to be taking the head off and then see if we if the valves made contact with the uh, with the pistons and see which ones and then inspect it and then um, see which valves need to be replaced or if it is the valves who knows maybe it's blown head gasket we don't know but most likely it is uh, I have a feeling that it is going to be the valve because the timing valve was broken uh, uh, when I got the car or if you saw a uh, um, the last video where I replaced the timing belt, you know, so the timing belt was broken. So, uh, I haven't posted a video for this car in a while. And that's because I, I'm going to be uh, honest that I was not motivated once I found out that the valves are bent on this car or on this engine. So that kind of like uh, put a damper on everything. I thought it was just, you know, maybe replace a starter or... Uh, timing belt was even like you know it was like a big project but I was like okay you know, I have done one before so I knew it wasn't that bad I have never done a valves or taken a head off of a car so it is a little bit of a nerve-wracking uh, for me to do that but hey you know um, it's a car that like I'm gonna learn on um, and I really don't uh, drive it so it's a project car so we'll just go from there so um, there is one thing that you can do that will help uh, me uh, get motivated and post more videos uh, about this project and uh, move it along faster so you guys get to see more of it is to uh, hit the like button leave a comment and also the main one please subscribe to my channel as well as share these videos with somebody that would enjoy this kind of content that would really motivate me and see that like you guys really like the content that I'm putting out with um, with this project and then you know I'll put more so if there is a video that you want to see more of uh, then you know please like that video and comment and that will motivate me to make more videos uh, regarding that kind of a project or uh, you know so that out of the way uh, let's get going and start uh, tearing down this uh, the top end and get ready to uh, pull the head off of this car um, I'm starting to pull this head off this car to see what's going on with the valves and uh, so what I'm gonna do is I'm trying to like clear this area in general area I do have to remove the timing belt again uh, and then do that um, so what I'm gonna do is um, first take off the timing belt but uh, I took off the valve cover already and these were eight millimeter screws they were like what one two three four five six seven eight eight uh, um, uh, nuts or screws they're like this there's some uh, I think they're like bolts I guess um, so these so there's some like this some like this because there's things that like snap on right here so I uh, took these off um, and I have the spark plugs out over there as well so uh, that was just because I wanted to see what's going on I did uh, turn over the car and watched the lifters work so it wasn't that the lifter was stuck or anything like that I thought that maybe that's what it was maybe one of the lifters were stuck so what I did is I hit these uh, the springs um, I put like a screwdriver and like I just tapped them a little bit to see if they would like free up so um, yeah uh, well, I can totally tell the lifters are working and they're not stuck or anything like that uh, with that said I'm gonna go ahead and start by the process of removing the timing um, timing uh, timing belt off again so uh, so a couple of steps that I missed last time was this can the coolant can you just pull it out and then that how it comes out and on this uh, on this power steering pump uh, there are two bolts that are 
I believe 15 millimeters they're on inside of the pulley on the inside you can you'll see there's like a um, inside of the pulley there's like two bolts that you have to take out and then the um, power steering pump can move freely and then you can get to the bracket to get the bracket off uh, and so on and so forth uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that and uh, I'll just uh, be pausing I mean not pausing and bringing guys in and um, sharing with you guys what I found or where I'm at or anything like that so my plan is to uh, remove the timing belt again because we have the cam gears uh, come off or the camshaft not the gears like everything uh, the camshaft uh, both of them come off uh, and then the head bolts I believe they're underneath the camshaft uh, from the videos that I have seen so I have to take these camshafts out in order for me to get to the the head bolts and then uh, go from there uh, I might uh, prepare this engine for a turbo build and I might put like you know a metal head gasket and ARP uh, head studs all right I got the timing belt off and now I'm gonna start working on all the other stuff to remove the head so my plan is to put the mount back on on this side or you know the one that's not there and then uh, once I get the mount on I can um, take the jack stand out out of the bottom and what I will do is um, now get all the hoses disconnected like you know like the drain um, coolant hoses and whatnot get all those disconnected drained out um, and then once I have all that disconnected then I'm going to lower the car so that way I have a little bit better access uh, I mean I am not that tall I'm about like five six <laughs> at the best so it's really hard for me to work on it when it's like uh, up in the air like this I mean you know good to work underneath the car but like from the top it's a little bit difficult for me so I'm gonna lower the car after that and that way I can get to the top section and then uh, get all those uh, bolts on the top so that's the plan uh, let's get going let me put this um, uh, engine mount back on on this side and then go from there change of plans uh, I am not gonna lower the uh, car I'm gonna work on the top area and see what I can um, get first and then um, after that I'll lower the car and then we'll go from there
All right, so I was able to get the exhaust manifold off and as well as the intake manifold off. The intake manifold is all the way back. Let me show you guys from back here. As you can see, it is not connected to the head anymore. So some of the things, uh, again, you know, I try to look for how to replace the head or head gasket people have like you know there's the uh, a bunch of people out there there's like this i think his call is like uh forgot his name he's from like socal this guy dsm uh something i think miguel dsm or something like that um he did a head gasket but he did like a time lapse and didn't explain anything on like what like what to look for or anything like that so uh but you know he uh, the video was there but it was just like time lapsed so what i want to do is i want to tell you guys what to expect and what to do so all these were um either 13 millimeter or 10 millimeter bolts up here hold on let me see uh yeah they were either 10 millimeters or 13 millimeter bolts that were up here and then the heat shield was 10 millimeter what i had to do was i had to undo these two bolts uh and then also um there's two bolts down there let me see you see those two bolts down there they're like one on top of another one uh i had to like undo those for the exhaust um uh the down pipe pipe to drop so i can pull the manifold off so that's something that you need to watch out for uh on the the exhaust manifold was not that difficult honestly the intake is the one where you know you're gonna run into a uh, really tight space um i did not lower the car i just like <laughs> i have a little a little uh, step stool right here and it just like climbed up and it was sliding around on my floor uh but anyways i got it done so there's a bunch of um so they're all up here the bolts are up here so they're mostly uh 10 millimeter or 13 millimeter i noticed this is what the this car is so there is a bracket that's like over here that you uh, it's like a hook to lift the engine out and then there's another hook right here so you have to remove those two uh remove those two hooks to get this engine uh to get this intake manifold off if you're wondering also um so there are um so there were let me see let me get on top of my step stool so i can show you guys um how many bolts so that was another thing i wanted to know like how many bolts so there were uh let's see there was one two three four oh they're right here so there's there's uh one two three four five six seven eight nine yeah nine bolts that are holding the intake manifold onto the to the uh, nine bolts that are holding the intake manifold to the head but they're also these uh these bolts right here these are 15 millimeter i'm gonna show you on the bottom i was like i already did the intake manifold why isn't it like coming off so uh, let me show you guys down here uh what something that you might run into so, so there is that black bracket. I don't know if you can see it. That bracket that is, uh, hold on one second. So if you can see this black bracket that is connected to the bottom of the intake manifold and it's bracing it to the block there is two of them uh on the bottom so you actually have to disconnect it i would say disconnect it on the block i disconnected these uh from the intake manifold but still the intake manifold didn't want to like slide back and then i ended up undoing the bolts on the bottom and that's what did it and those are easier to get from the bottom underneath the car um so that's i don't know if you see this black bracket that's bolted there's two of those so anyways um that's something to like watch out for that bracket might be holding your intake um still onto the uh block or the head and you're like why isn't it coming off because i was like what's going on anyways let's get to the top 
Other than that, I did take out the battery to give me some room in this area uh, because there is a bolt that is easier to get on this side. With uh, There's a bolt on the back of the uh, intake manifold that is easier to get from this side. And I um, undid the harness from that side. Uh, undid the harness on that side and all the way around. And then I put the harness over here. It's like, it's right here. It's sitting right here. So that's something that you might want to do. Disconnect all these things, and um, so that's it. That's that's where I'm at right now. Um, let me turn you guys around. All right, guys. So that is uh, gonna be it for this episode. I think I did a put a uh, big dent on. Uh, getting this head off hopefully in the next episode i can get the head off and also get the valves replaced it is a long process for me as i'm here just learning by myself uh, learn looking at other youtube videos getting the information i have never worked on an eclipse before i have worked on hondas chevys and uh, such sorts i have I worked on a ford probe i had used to have one so i'm familiar with those cars i have friends that are familiar with this those kind of car i don't have any friends friends that are familiar with a eclipse so i'm just like going by and learning i'm like um I'm also going to show you guys what uh, something there's a resource out there that you might not know most people should know this or do know this but there's a resource out there that was like way before YouTube so tune in to the next episode to see what I'm next episode to see what I am talking about other than that hope you guys have a fantastic day and I'll see you on the next one